What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lady Review, back to you with another video. I'm about to get do me some braids, and I got some hair. Uh, it's already pre-stretched, but on the package, it didn't say that it was itch-free. I had some that was itch-free, and it was such good hair. It still itched a little bit, but not as much as it would be. But look at this water from this brand new hair. I put water and uh, apple cider vinegar in here. The water is lukewarm, but look at all of that stuff in the hair. All that white stuff is um, the... Um, the powdery substance that they put on the hair to keep it from uh, uh, going bad or bugs getting in it. And you could smell the hair as soon as I took it out of the package. It smelled like chemicals. So it's best to um, pre-soak your hair and wash your hair. And uh, after I get through soaking it in the apple cider vinegar, I let it soak for about, I let mine soak for about an hour to make sure all the stuff get in there and you see it has the rubber band and the ties on there and that's where I'm going to um, attach the braid right there where that rubber band is so you make sure that you squeeze that a little bit you don't want to let it all go you don't want to let it all flow because uh, it'll get tangled up so and you can also tie the ends I didn't tie my ends because I'm going to make sure that um, I uh keep it straight as possible. It's I don't care for this hair because it's a little rough. Yeah, it's a little rough. But uh I also had black hair too, so I'm gonna miss my braids with uh black and blonde. So yeah. Make sure you soak your hair to keep it from itching because it it really I'm allergic to it because it irritates and have my scalp red and burning and itching and I get headaches from it. So it's all of that white stuff that's coming up on there that causes the itchiness and the redness and the bumps and everything. That um, That's why folks be patting their hair when they got them braids, be patting the hell out their hair. <laughs> that's why. So yeah, pre-soak it because look at all that. And I'm going to wash it and condition it, it, it after I finish soaking it. So, yeah. And then what I do is um, once I let it drip in the tub, I kind of like lay it on the, um, on the faucet things to let it finish dripping. And then to dry it, I hang it on the shower rod. And it dries in a day. So it don't take long at all for it to, for it to dry. And then it's pretty much ready for you to uh, put it in. I've already started putting my black in. No itch or anything right now. So, yeah. Goodness. Um, I wish I knew the name of that hair that I used before. It was so good. So next time I find it, I'll do a video about it. It was some really good hair. But yeah, make sure you soak it. That's why you make sure you soak your hair um, before you put it in to keep the itch down. Because nothing worse than going through all that trouble, putting your braids in, and then having to uh, take them out because of the the discomfort. Alright, just wanted to make this quick video. Deuce!